you guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new and you're just finding my channel now what's up my name's Danielle it's really nice to meet you and if you would like to join this damn fam subscribe down below I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday so today I am going to be talking about how I survived Accutane so if you guys have been watching my videos for the last six months or so, you would know that I started taking Accutane, also known as isotretinoin, because I was starting to get um, pretty intense um, acne, like not awful, but I started to see a trend in like right this area and I was like, nope, I want to kill that. So I made the decision and it was really tough for me because my brother um, went through Accutane prior to me and he had an awful experience with it. I mean, he had great results, but his skin got super dry and he was very uncomfortable. He was, he, it was not good for him. So I was a little scared. Um, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be happy in the long run. And let me tell you, it was a journey and I'm on my last month of Accutane now. So I'm about to go get my last set of pills and then next month I'll be done, which is so exciting. She said I could be done this month if I wanted to, but it's always good to do like an extra month for insurance. So I was like, yes, let's do it. So I wanna talk to you guys about how I survived Accutane, how I've been dealing with it, the different things that I went through, because I know a lot of you guys either are going through it right now and taking the medicine, or a lot of you guys are thinking about it or you're just curious because it is a process, it is a journey, it's something that I had to adjust to and a lot of things happen along the way, a lot of mood swings, you know, just different, not mood swings, but like a lot of different emotions I went through. It's, it's definitely been tough, um, but not as tough as I thought I would be and I just figured out these awesome things to do to not have a lot of the symptoms that Accutane says that it has. Accutane is known to really dry out your skin because it is drying out these you know blackheads and whiteheads and everything and it's really trying to pull that disgusting stuff out um, but with that it makes your skin super dry and like a pinky tone and you just start to like your muscles kind of stiffen so it's just a lot of like drying and awful stuff um, so there has been a lot of stuff that I've encountered but I've conquered them and I'm really I'm really proud of myself so without further ado let's talk about the tips and tricks on how to survive Accutane as well as just a story on my journey so essentially, for me, I, if you guys are wondering, my dermatologist prescribed me 80 milligrams. So I take, so each pill is 40 milligrams, so I take one in the morning and one at night. I've always been one, this sounds really weird, but I have always had soft lips. Like I have never had a problem with like super chapped lips or super dry lips. I'd get like kind of dry and then I just put some lip balm, ba lip balm on and I'm fine. That is the one thing with Accutane, you do get dry lips. It is a thing. And living in Florida, it's not the worst thing in the world because the weather isn't like awful but I've been traveling a lot and like I went to New York I went to Chicago I went to New York twice while on Accutane I went to Chicago I went to Canada and I mean those are cold temperatures so it really does affect your skin so there's a lot of things that I've done to adjust to that I have not had a problem with dry skin um, at first I did my skin started to get a little bit flaky my makeup would just look really bad so I immediately went to my local Sephora and I figured out the best products to use and my dermatologist kind of gave me suggestions too so I'm gonna show you guys the products that I've used to keep my skin moisturized like I literally have not had a problem with dry skin like at all dry lips yes so all the skincare stuff I've been using has been from Clinique um just it happens to be like that I'm not sponsored by Clinique I'd love to be sponsored by Clinique so hit me up um, but no this is all stuff that I purchased myself because I just felt it was the best for my skin. So with Accutane, you cannot um, use face washes or face masks or any sort of other medication with things like salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide. Those are the things that are in some um, drugstore and you know higher end skincare products because it's supposed to get rid of acne. But since you're already on the Accutane, you don't need to be using that other stuff and it would just dry your skin out even more. So I had to be very really careful when picking out you know my face products so I found this face wash and I'm obsessed with it it's the Clinique liquid facial soap extra mild so it's a, essentially it's a very simple face wash it smells really nice and I like it because I can go like that and it locks it so I can travel with it like it doesn't come out um, it's like fairly big but I love it and it's super moisturizing when you put on your skin it's got like this cooling sensation and it feels amazing um, the one thing is sometimes my skin will get dry kind of around this area like my nose and like around my lips so I'll use an exfoliator, like a very simple exfoliator from like St. Ives, like once to twice a week just to kind of get rid of that dead skin, but not all over my face because it wouldn't be good. It would kind of irritate my skin. Now for moisturizers. I go ham with moisturizers. My brother, I think he had a problem. I'm like outing my brother, but I'm just trying to like compare like to other people's experiences. Like Freddie, like 
first of all, he just like doesn't use any skincare products whatsoever because he was like, oh, Accutane, that's fine. He would use like a face soap at night, but he wasn't using moisturizer. Your dermatologist told me like naturally girls can kind of handle Accutane more because we're already used to kind of having a beauty pamper routine. So I think that's why. So during the day, um, so I use these two moisturizers day and night. It's like a little, um, they don't come together, but they're kind of the same idea. So they're the Clinique Moisture Surge Moisturizer and the Moisture Surge Intense. So I use the moisture... Sorry, that's a tongue twister. I use the Moisture Surge um, moisturizer in the morning after I wash my face with that face wash. And it is, you literally just need like the littlest of bit on your finger and it can just spread all over your face. And it's just like a light moisturizer. It's not super creamy. It's kind of almost like a gel kind of consistency. And it feels so good on the skin and it really moisturizes. It like soaks it in your skin, it's amazing. And then at night after I wash my face, I use the Moisture Surge Intense because I wanted more of like a night cream, something at night. I just love smothering this over my face before I go to bed and it feels so nice and I wake up and my skin feels super soft. And then once to twice a week at night, instead of using the Moisture Surge Intense, I use the Moisture Surge Overnight Mask from Clinique. I actually just recently got this at Sephora because who wants, who doesn't want even more moisture? Creamy mask helps replenish moisture and builds reserves for tomorrow. Skin awakens plumped, supple, and luminous. So I just, when I heard the word supple, I just love that word. I think it's a, it's, a, it's just a good word, okay? Once to twice a week at night, I will use this instead of the other night cream from Clinique. This one's just a little bit more intense. And when it says mask, it's like a mask that you can sleep in. Like it's, you put it on, it's clear, but it's just even more moisture. And I'll wake up and my skin feels so good. So using those products, like my skin has just never had a problem of that sort. As for the lip area, I've got other products. So your lips will get dry, your lips will get flaky, have things going on. So this sugar lip polish from the brand Fresh is great. Any sort of lip exfoliator, I know Lush has one too. Um, this is like their brown sugar one, I think. It smells great and I'll just use it at night after I brush my teeth and just rub it on and it just removes any dead skin. <laughs> this stuff, I keep by my bedside. It looks kind of funny right there, but I do. It's Vaseline. Um, it's a big old tub and I'll just take my finger, I'll go in and I'll literally like, I don't look cute, I mean no one's seeing me. So I'll literally just like put it all over my lips, like even like around the areas because those, those, the area right around your lips can get kind of dry too. Right over, go to bed, wake up and your, and your lips are, your lips are plump and sup, supple and just feeling good. So Vaseline's your best friend, but I only use this at night because no one can see you and you can just rub it all over your face, it's fine. <laughs> And then during the day, I love using my Rosebud Salve. You can find this at Sephora, Anthropology, other places that I don't know. Um, but this is like the little tub. Joey actually got this for me because um, he knows I love it so much. And they also have the little tubes that I use in my purse as well. This stuff's great for just touch-ups during the day when you want moisture. So those are all the products that I use. And also sometimes my um, scalp will get a little dry. And like I don't necessarily get dandruff, but it just feels like just not nice so I'll use head and shoulder shampoo like every like once a week or something just to keep the moisture in my hair also get a swell bottle get a camelback get a recyclable water bottle that you can bring around every day this is full of water with me every day I bring this to school I use this on the weekends I think it is so important it is very important to just drink water in general but it's also when you're on Accutane your muscles can kind of stiffen a little bit so it's important to stay active and to stretch a lot is what I try to do because you're Sometimes like I'll wake up in the morning and I'm feeling like P. Diddy got my glasses. I'm not that door. I'm gonna hit the scissor. But water just keeps everything flowing and good. And it's just, it's not bad for you. It's good for your skin too. So as for my journey, um, when I first started Accutane, the first like three months or so, or maybe even four, like first three months, I broke out badly. Like I had never had that many pimples in my life. Like I know it sounds kind of like bleh, but it was it was kind of rough for me like I would kind of just not want to go out as much like I'm still like really outgoing person but like I didn't want to take as many pictures I didn't I like ended like all of my snapchat streaks because I just didn't want to take selfies which sounds awful but you know I started to just get a lot of acne right here and it really took a toll on me and everyone was just like no just keep going Danielle like every I've never heard of one person that didn't have good results from Accutane and I was like okay and then finally like last month my skin took a turn I literally, you feel my face, it's completely flat. Like I have no pimples and it's, I started it on November 1st and it's the end of February right now. So it took a little bit, 
um, but it was really really worth it and I would say if you're gonna do Accutane take it during like winter months because during the summer you want to feel fresh you want to feel good and you're not really supposed to be exposed to the Sun too much while on Accutane so it just makes sense to do it during the winter um, so I'm really excited about the time I did it and right before college um, I just can't wait to just not want to wear makeup and just feel like I don't have to which isn't I don't have to wear makeup but it just makes me feel better um, so yeah, now my skin, if I take my makeup off, there's no pimp, there's no active acne. It's just, um, there's like red marks from where it was because Accutane will kind of make your skin naturally pinkier toned. And she said that once I get off Accutane after like a month, my skin will start to like de-redden, I guess. I don't really know. Um, so that's just kind of where I'm at right now. But I am really happy. A lot of you guys have been commenting on my videos like, wow, your skin looks so much better. Like it looks good. Like... I'm really happy with my results so far. It was definitely an experience, um, but I want you to know you're not alone. And if you start to break out a lot at first, that's natural, I realize, even though it's tough. A lot of other people are going through it. You're not the only one. And when you're done, you're gonna feel so darn great. I believe in you. So that's it for today's video. I hope it was helpful in any way. Um, if you guys want any more videos like this, or if you have any other questions that I didn't address in this video, please comment them down below. I really do care about you guys. Or you can DM me or anything like that. Um, I love you guys so much and subscribe right here if you want to watch more of my videos and then click right here for a morning routine video and then click right here for my workout routine. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys very soon for my next video. Bye guys!